Now, when you think about helmet safety, you may not be thinking about cleanliness. But that's a part of keeping kids safe, too. Britton Lynn and scientists at UAB tested some helmets to see what kind of germs and bacteria are living on them. Helmets are school's lifeline. But what if the protective equipment is putting your child's health at risk? To figure out, we visited the UAB School of Math and Science. Scientists swabbed four parts of each helmet the chin strap, the back of the head, the face mask, and the ear padding. When we just swab the helmets, we're growing everything that's on there. Which are then incubated for 24 to 48 hours. And to get the most accurate results, we used helmets that hadn't been worn or cleaned since the season ended. Actually, I was most surprised that they weren't that dirty. The one that had the most bacterial growth was the top of the head and the ear. I was expecting maybe to find a little bit more bacteria on them than we did. So despite their smell, Nothing too bad was found since they were stored in non-climate controlled field houses. More than likely the temperature change mm -hmm. um, is going to be enough to probably kill any harmful bacteria. It's going to need to be in a warm, okay. moist environment in order to really thrive. Which means in the summer and fall it's a good idea to wipe down each helmet to limit harmful bacteria growth. So what's the best way to clean a helmet? We put a couple of household cleaners to the test. If you look at this plate, some of the bacteria is growing just right on top of the hydrogen peroxide. It's safe to say that hydrogen peroxide was the least effective. Next, we tried a homemade cleaner made of lemon juice, dish soap, and vinegar. It was relatively effective um, on some. It wasn't as effective as we were kind of hoping. Now, the Lysol, on the other hand, killed a significant amount of bacteria, but it was the Pine Sol that took the win. Pine Sol was the only cleaner to kill the majority of bacteria on every helmet tested. So you can see Lysol is pretty effective, but if you compare it to the Pine Sol plate, so there's no growth on this plate yeah, at all. That's so amazing. It, was, it killed all of it. Yeah, so it was very, very effective at killing the bacteria on the plate. And the best way to clean a helmet is by wiping it down with Pine Sol, letting it sit for 10 minutes, and then rinsing. Later tonight, we'll be continuing our On Your Side helmet investigation with a step-by-step -step guide of ways you can prevent your child from getting a traumatic brain injury in football. We'll also have a helmet football safety checklist for you to print off and download on myfoxal.com. Tune in at 10 p.m.